Ahem. What's up, people of the world? It's me again, Alex Wimmer, aka AB3 Jumped, and uh, welcome to a uh, reaction video because today is a special day. Um, yeah, my hair is very scruffy. I'm very scruffy, but uh, at least it's keeping me warm during the winter time. Yeah, I do need a haircut, but uh, um, uh, it this this overly long hair is keeping me warm. The facial hair does as well, although. I don't like facial hair anymore. And anyway, today um, I'm is the 10 year anniversary of my first vlog, and this 2021 2021 is the 10 year anniversary of the entire channel as a whole. And uh, so uh, I haven't made very many videos um, about the 10 year anniversary, but I uh, I'm doing one for today. So I'm, re yeah, I'm reacting to my very first vlog I ever did, uh, but uh, 10 years ago today, on December 13th, 2011. Ah, you heard me, I just pop my damn ears. Uh, and I have like a, a probably like 30 playlists for stuff. Uh, this is going to take me a second, so, um. Yeah, I've made almost 200 vlogs in the past 10 years. That's pretty damn crazy. And uh, now we're at vlog 77, which <laughs> the logo, I made, I, I modeled the logo after Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> uh, that was neat. I, I, I for, for a lot of vlogs, I'm I sometimes, depending on what I'm talking about, I modeled the vlog, I modeled the, the damn title. I modeled, I modeled the the logo after uh, based on what I'm talking about. Like for um, my 64th vlog, I talked about Nintendo about the the 20 year anniversary of N N the Nintendo 64, and I modeled the lo I modeled the vlog's logo after the the Nintendo 64 logo. Well, not not that not the green one, you know, but uh, the actual the text. So that was that was very fun. And also did I've also recreated Star Wars logos. I've used special fonts. The the font I've used the absolute most was the Impact font, and the font and yeah the yeah the first time I ever even used custom thumbnails for my vlogs wasn't until my um, vlog forty, and. Uh, in case you didn't know, um, the vlogs is actually na name, named after, uh, it's actually named and spelled after the rules from the Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> and uh, I always capitalize the letter L as well as the V because back in the old days, vlogs, you know, vlogs are, are, are short for uh, v uh, video logs and I always um, pay tribute to the original spelling by capitalizing the L as well as the V because people would often do do that for whatever reason and I just decided to pay tribute to that and I've stuck with that I've stuck with that spelling ever since and I've stuck with the vlog spelling ever since I thought about changing it but then I realized that um I th I I realized that oh um over time that the the fairly odd rep the fairly odd parents reference was uh, was pretty cool, and I always have parentheses right after the um the title, uh denoting what number it is. Uh, I don't know why I have it in parentheses. I just I just, I just do that. That's, that's just a personal decision I do for video for videos. Like if they're if it's like part one or part two, I always parenthesize them. Or put them in brackets, like especially for my gaming videos. So, and I started with zero one, and I, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to go beyond the uh, uh, beyond one hundred yet. My one hundredth vlog wasn't until like I don't know two thousand fifteen, I think. And over the years, I've collab, I've I've gotten a chance to uh, have a lot of guest stars on my vlogs. The first. The first guest star I ever had in, in, in any video was Toby, uh, my friend, uh, my, my friend, uh, to, uh, uh, Toby uh, Mayu, and 
that was in the cafeteria. I've done several other uh, videos in, in the cafeteria at my high school. And uh, I basically filmed in every place that I've lived in since 2011. And I've been doing these freaking videos since I was 15. So we're going to react to this. Uh, and yeah, it's, uh, a lot of my first vlogs were very cringy. And I was I was very over the top. My personality was very was very uh, I had a very eccentric personality <laughs> back then, and uh, I can't wait to watch this again. And good lord, I was so skinny. <laughs> What's up, people in the world? Save you three jumps. Sounded like I was slurring right there. December thirteenth. 2011, 82 views. <laughs> and this is my first time ever vlogging. Yay! Happy dance, yay! No, happy dance. Cut it out. <laughs> okay. And I... Here's the thing. With a lot of these first vlogs, before, I, I didn't really know how you, you do jump cuts or understand how, understand how they work yet. So... I would improv a lot of these uh, uh, vlogs when I first did them, and uh, I I created some of my uh, YouTube characters on the spot as a result, and <laughs> and uh, I use pre-existing characters like my public characters and and those, and um, they would often like be like skits in a lot of my vlogs, and. Uh, And I always thought I was kind of bad at improv, but these red. Uh, I got a YouTube notification. I always thought I was kind of bad at improv in general, but these um, these improv sessions were not bad, at, and uh, I created characters because <laughs> I never, I've never, I uh, that's was this is one of the only in instances where I created characters from improv. This is also the first time I'm showing my face in any of my videos. It was. And my username doesn't really have a meaning, so don't bother asking about that. It has an interesting origin, my username. Um, I, my old slider phone, right, um, it was um, handed down to me from my dad. He had the phone that he gave it to me in, in middle school. So remember remember slider phones, guys, and, and anyone who's my age, if you, you, if you remember how slider phones worked in... Uh, how you were supposed to type. Typing was a pain in the ass back then. <laughs> and so basically, I would fiddle around with the keyboard by uh, pressing, uh, when I would text, I was fiddling around with the text text messenger uh, application, and I would press each and every button in order from one to nine in that order. And the, uh, the results that would come up was just a random assortment of letters and um, I tr I uh, got rid of some of those letters, and uh, well, a long story short, that's how I came up with the with the username uh, AP3JMPT, and uh, it's a it has a really weird origin, but this name stuck. I th I even thought about changing my username because three is not even my favorite number. Four is my favorite number, but. And uh, people call me AP3 for short as a result. And uh, I've really liked this username that I've given myself over the years. And fun fact, the first username I ever gave myself at all for anything was... Uh, uh, the first username I created for anything was The Man. <laughs> and that was for that was my Nintendo DS user, username. <laughs> and, I brought, and I brought that nickname back for uh um when i started playing uh smash brothers again in 2014 i uh, you, you know how you could change your name well um you got a custom name well uh that's why i decided to bring that username back and from 2014 onwards i would use that name for every smash game and yeah it's a another interesting uh username very generic but uh I still like liked it. Cause half the usernames I see don't have really have meaning to them. So, <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> I was very nervous too. <clears throat> as you can tell video. by the title, this video is about what I'm doing as far as social media goes. And in this whole vlog series, I'm going to be doing. I'm going to call it the vlogs with Z. That's gangsta. Okay, no. 
<laughs> yeah, that's not that. Like I said, that's not the reason why I <laughs> called and gave it a Z. You know, oh, oh, okay. Apparently, this this very first vlog didn't have the L letter L capitalized. Huh. Um. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm also gonna post my vlogs every single Wednesday between four to nine o'clock, probably. You know, I tried. You know, I tried to do that actually, but um, and I kept up with that for a while. I don't know why I chose Wednesday of all days. Like, like that's in the middle of the week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, this, fir this first video, I actually, um, I had problems uploading it at the time. It was, you see, I uploaded it, um, I tried to upload it on Wednesday, but the video was desynced, so I, I had to upload it uh, on the following Friday. And for all these first vlogs I recorded with Dell Webcam Central, it was a very fun little pro program to use. Now, try first I tried to upload through that. And then I then realized that wasn't that wasn't a good idea, so I imported it into Movie Maker and uploaded the video straight through straight uh, through a Movie Maker. And I didn't upload videos at, at all straight through YouTube itself until uh, my forty uh, first vlog, my vlog in Chicago. I had a lot of problems uploading that video. People probably went, four or nine o'clock, that's a long time. When will we know? <gasps> when will we know? Well, uh, you can schedule uh, videos. That That's how, you, you, you can schedule videos and set them as live premieres. That's how, <laughs> that, that, that's how people will know for a print. You can do that with pre-recorded videos. I myself haven't done that yet, but it's helpful. Yeah, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about the time. <laughs> There's a guarantee that they will be posted Every single Wednesday, starting next week. I used a lot of violence. Today was kind of delayed and late Friday, whatever. Mm. Anyway, mm -hmm. now the first ever video series I'd done was the random video series. And basically, what that was was mm -hmm, there were five of them, actually. And there were, there were sideshow videos, and each, and each of them had theme songs in them, and they were all copyrighted. And all the pictures I had in there were just a bunch of random pop culture things, plus a couple of things I I painted from Microsoft Paint. And I create a lot of characters in MS Paint as well. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Number two got taken off YouTube for some reason, but it's on my channel. Yeah, it was. <laughs> want to watch it? You can click on my nose. Oh yeah. You can watch it. I oh god. I for, oh fuck. I forgot about this. Um, back when uh you know uh customizable annotations were a thing. You can have them on. You could change. You can convert annotations to any size, at all. You can even cover the entire freaking video with an annotation back then. The the older annotations were really cool. Um. Uh, the modern annotations are, are, are okay. They work fine. Um, it's great that you can use them on your TV and on your phone because ever since high school, I always wanted mobile annotations and they finally became a thing. Although not as customizable though. You can even change the color of those annotations back then and that, that, that was neat. I miss that. That's one, of my, that's one of the old features of my channel that I miss. Although if you watch any video today with those old annotations made, they're still in the, the, these, these videos. Untouched by the new, by new YouTube's new changes, so. And anyway, so I had a little gag for a long time that you could click on my nose to watch a certain video and I even had annotations in four corners of the, of the video sometimes uh, to promote all my social media accounts at the time. Uh, so I don't have a re I don't have a reason to do that anymore. Um, that's kind of what that's what cards are for now. Um, and uh, I could better explain what a random video is now. A random video is my first series I ever made on my channel. It's, it's basically they're basically music videos of sorts. It's basically what they are: music videos with a pop with a, with a pop, with a, with a theme song in it, with with a lot of there's a lot of pictures included and uh, 
uh, late, later later um, episodes in the series would have uh, uh, more video clips from me and more video clips from, you know, uh, like YouTube and such. And uh, there would be more. There, there was more of a focus on video clips in later episodes, so there became more like music videos of sorts with uh, with memes and with memes in them and uh, so and uh, and uh, subliminal messages. <laughs> That's basically what a random video is. It's a mu It's basically it's basically like a, they're like music videos of sorts with with memes in them. That's basically what they are. I had a hard time ex figuring out what how to explain them at, uh, uh, for the for so many years. There, you can click on my nose and watch the whole series. <laughs> and every single entry has only five episodes, actually. Still. Anyway, number two got taken off for some reason. I mean, because, every single season has five episodes. Like I said, all the songs are covered, and, and, and since they are all covered, if they were going to take number two, who you knows? Due to copyright reasons, they could have taken out the whole video series. They could and have. Yeah, they could mm -hmm. have. So, just weird. YouTube's weird like that sometimes, and YouTube's still also weird like that. Video season two. YouTube's still fucking weird like that. <laughs> Which I have more songs. More photos, more randomness, and it'll be better, kinda, and funnier, kinda. They got better production wise. There'll also be only five of them, just like the last one, so. <laughs> and uh, uh, each episode in the series has a theme. I didn't realize this until the um, I finished producing season two. It, it was kind of a coincidence that the episodes had themes, but I decided to keep it a mainstay from season three onwards. Every um yeah every every episode in 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 the five episode season has a theme. Every first episode is basically anything goes, and every second episode in the season is a uh, uh, you know a very popular song, one that that almost everybody is familiar with, and every third episode in the series has a, has a sad or ser has a sad or more serious so serious song in it, and every fourth episode has a. Uh, Every fourth episode has a song from a, from a video game, and every fifth episode is uh, basically a song you can dance to. And that could be anything too. So. Anyway, the the last two videos I uploaded were about my uncle's pugs. Yeah, I'm named after him. And Elliot, and they're the cutest pugs ever. They're my little cousins, and they play all the time and. Oh yeah, the, 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 uh, those pugs, they were so cute. I, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're 10 years old now. <laughs> I haven't seen them in, the, in a long time. So. I was bit, I was videotaping them with my Android smartphone. Android smartphone. Playing. Probably my first one. And I'm going to post some more videos of those two little bastards. <laughs> two little bastards. Why am I calling them that? With, with my Android smartphone. And, my, uh, and I'm also going to put them in a playlist. Yeah. You know, as Bandit and Ellie. Yeah, every single video I ever make is always categorized into some kind of playlist. <laughs> every single video I've ever made. I'm going to do that with all the other little videos I do as well. So, you know, where to find them. And... Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> Another YouTube video series I'm going to do is called the One Out to Do series. Yeah. And basically what that is is just random videos about teaching life lessons about one out to do during certain events at a certain point in time. I still want to do this, actually. And there are certain theme songs in each video. This, it's going to ha it's gonna require a lot of production value and, uh, and allow me to film in more public locations. So. Yeah, this basically this idea involves. Uh, it's called the "What Not to Do" series, as I'll explain a little better. It's um, it's basically like a satire kind of series that I can uh, that I came up with, it's like what not to do during certain events, like for example, what not to do during during a school test, what not to do at the grocery store, what not to do uh at the fucking the International Space Station. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that's a really cool idea I came up with. I want to make a pilot for that, but like I said, it will require a lot of production value, and um, I uh, would love to. I still want to produce that uh, pilot one of these days. That go with the video well and make it kind of funny too. Yeah, I can have background music. So that's that. I don't have that shirt no more. And I'll also be doing other little video series 
as well. So many video series. I don't, I don't really plan them out yet. <clears throat> I'm also going to have a little puppet characters. Oh, yeah. Too, all kinds of puppet as characters. As well as actual human characters that I have invented. Oh, yeah. Puppet characters, live action characters. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Friends are going to invent some as well. Yeah. That, that was true. Um, all, all my friends create characters. Tyler and Michael create characters for, for you, WJ. Okay, our just wrestling series. Maybe. I just might write my own songs, too. It's funny. I've composed some so songs. I haven't made that many, but um, a lot of my earlier compositions that I tried to create when I was, like, 14, 15 were not that great. But more over the years, like the past few years, I've been able to to compose some songs, some theme songs for some of my original characters. I have no way to um to uh, properly you know show what they off what they are. I'm able to hum them. That's about it. Um, I hummed one of my theme songs I created for one of my characters. Um, and I'm still trying to tweak things here and there as to how they saw as to how they should sound, what instruments should be included in some songs and um yeah i'm proud of scary music again i'm proud of the few that i've made actually oh i almost forgot <laughs> this is also something i'm going to do in the end of all my vlogs called randomness yeah randomness my favorite thing has two parts random object of the day and random fun fact of the day Oh yeah, randomness is in the end of randomness is in every vlog. It's most most of the time it's at the end of the video, but sometimes it's in the beginning or the middle of the video. And ever and once in a while I, I would make an entire vlog ded dedicated to to the segment. So basically, what the segment is, it's like there's two parts to it: random fun fact of the day and the random object of the day. That those mean exactly what they sound like. <laughs> Random object of the day is a little clown dude. Yep, the first, it, 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 my first random object that I ever showed off was it was a Lego minifigure from the Lego Collectible Minifigure Series number five. It was, it was a clown, it was a clown guy. I still have him. From this little clown dude is, you can't find him in any other set. He's from the Lego Minifigure Series. He's five. The CMF series, if you will. And here's a 360 view with him. The camera was very blurry, but I tried my best to uh, um, show off whatever random yeah, objects I had. And there's his little pie. And there's anyone else at? Oh yeah, I would do things like that on uh, all the time. That's for random fun the day. Oh, with that, with that main figure, um, if you take off his hat, you you can you can uh, see his eyebrows a lot more, and it looks like he's he looks like. <laughs> His eyebrows are like this. <laughs> he looks more surprised. And did you know that Mandarin is the number one spoken language on this planet Earth? English is not. English is number two. Okay, hold on. I got a few things to say about that. First off, teenage Alex, dumbass. It's not how you pronounce it. It's not Mandarin. It's Mandarin. Dip fuck. <laughs> hey, it's Mandarin. Okay. And that fun fact is still true. Let me. Mandarin is still the number one spoken language on 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 the on the entire planet, and uh, English is still the second most spoken language. Ugh, I don't know why I didn't know how to pronounce it at the time. So, this case, right. one more thing before I forget, I'm also going to be posting drawings every Friday on Facebook and sculptures too. And I did that for a while. Uh, I want to post drawings again on Twitter instead because I don't give a flippity flying fuck about Facebook anymore. Um, Facebook and I, we had a good run. And so don't worry. I don't give a fuck about be Facebook. Be sure to check, be sure to check out my channel, subscribe to that, <laughs> please if you would, it would help out a lot. This whole entire vlog explains why, so nothing more to it. And Jeremy Music again. That's three times. Oh, be sure, be sure to check me out on Facebook and to follow me on Twitter as the name is shown. Uh. Since I didn't know how to do jump cuts, I just did some other shit like that. Video. That's all for me, guys, and 
I was used to. It. I didn't even know how to properly salute at the time. I was just, I, I, I did this like, like I'm looking for, like I'm looking for something out, out in the distance and on the on the ocean horizon. <laughs> and then my friend Tim, um, he told me that like you're supposed to do a salute like this. Uh, nowadays, I do, I do a, a two finger salute. Kind of like, like how uh, uh, Captain Falcon used to do his salute in, uh, in, in, in Melee. And so, yeah, that's my very first uh, vlog. <laughs> and we are at one... What vlog number are we at now? We are at vlog number 186. We're 15, we're like less, we're 14 away from vlog number 200. Avi Jan just uh, posted his 200th video. Uh, I, I, uh, I still have to watch that. I, I'm sure it's going to be a great one. His 100th video was great. I remember it was about Rob Roba. I remember watching that in college. And uh, so, yeah. 10 years later, I've been, 10 years I've been doing vlogs. <laughs> we've, we've come a long way. And we're almost at 200 vlogs in 10 years. That's pretty crazy. Um, so it's like roughly 20 vlogs per year. So yeah, I'm... I can't believe I've been on YouTube 10 years. <laughs> and I can't believe... Actually how far I've come. And uh, I've... I haven't exactly failed as a YouTuber. I have had my cer I've had my certain spikes in popularity when I was more involved in this in this in the Super Mario Bros. X community as well as the Lighthouse community community. I uh, my popu my popularity uh spiked during those times when I was more involved in those communities. Sometimes I would get like hundreds of views ba based on when I would make SMBX and Lighthouse videos. Um. I've kind of sort of stopped doing those now, unfortunately. So hopefully, um, whatever I talk about next will uh, hopefully uh, um, uh, bring my audience back up, basically. And I, another thing, I did a lot of weird body language in my oldest videos. <laughs> Nowadays, I might still be nervous in videos, but I'm way more sophisticated, and uh, I uh, even if I'm like sleepy, I still always. I'm a lot better at knowing what to say and vlog and uh, so, yeah. I don't know what else to say other than uh, I want to do a 10 year anniversary montage or at least talk about my 10 years on YouTube. I want to do a discussion video with that. So um, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Ring the bell to be notified of future videos I make. And uh, um. Stay tuned for my reaction video for the Game Awards. Uh, this video, yeah, this video is recorded a after that, so my videos are being uploaded out of order. Oh well, <laughs> oh freaking well. That was another catchphrase I said in all this vlogs. So uh, yeah, what are we at? Twenty eight minutes. Holy shit. And